name is uh, Krishna Kishore. I have uh, almost 13 years experience in teaching and we trained almost uh, more than uh, 10,000 students for different uh, competitive exams like GATE, PSU and uh, uh, state level competitive exams also. Coming to the recent notification, and a recent notification Telangana TSPSC which we wrote in the other exams in the early. So in TSPSC uh, government post law, so we do civil peaceful and like almost Mechanical uh, Triple P over another post the other day. So we do e TSPSC exams ke allow preparation on Dali. We preparation allow on Dali for TSPSC contain. So basically, we have eight topics in the concentrate chair, eight topics in Baka Chavale, TSPSC Padilo. So eight topics are in the Manaki, Marcula in the Ostai. So, according to the clear cut off, the government post in the silence So, if we civil department, civil department is civil law, total posts, total posts, So, in Chalai, post so, in this app post, there are different categories that are allowed to be notification. In this civil post, there are major topics that are topics. Important topics are well there. Important topics. Topics are well there. Every topic is important. This topic is not about the name. Every topic is important. Uh, the exam point of view. But in this topic, there are clear cut off. So, what do you do? Basic topics like strength of materials, strength of materials, and fluid mechanics, fluid mechanics, and hydrology, and hydrology, and uh, uh, environmental engineering. Engineering and uh, transportation, transportation, engineering and uh, geotechnical engineering. So, we need to spread that the EID law in poor way is a result of the market and the BD law. So, what are the important topics? We have to talk about the topics. We have to talk about the topics. And the subject point of view is the length of the day. And the topic is the same. 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 Types of flows are very common. Types of flows. How we define the flows? How we define the flows? Types of flows. One of types of flows will let the first one uh, will take study and unstudy flow. In study and unstudy flow, generally what we know in the study and unstudy flow. So, do P by do T is equal to zero. Do V by do T is equal to zero. Do rho by do T is equal to zero, which we call it as a steady flow. Which we call it as a steady flow. And uh, uh, we can take do V by do T not equal to zero. Do V by do T not equal to zero. Do rho by do T not equal to zero, which we call it as an unsteady flow. So wherever you can go. Everyone will use only these formulas pressure, velocity, density is not changing with respect to time. So, first understand the, what they are trying to say in the equation that is very important. 
See, if we take any pipe, let us take there is a pipe. In this pipe, some fluid is flowing. Okay. Now, in this fluid, if we observe, let us take any points in the fluid, any points in the fluid. In the fluid, with respect to time, means uh, now it is 1 o'clock, let us take. At 1 o'clock, the pressure is some value, velocity is some value, density is some value. At one particular period of 1 o'clock, at 1 o'clock, 1 pm, let us take. After some writing, means it may be minutes, it may be seconds, it may be hours, whatever it may be. If you come after some time like, if we measure pressure, velocity, density at 1.5 pm for suppose means I am taking after 300 seconds like 5 minutes. It is showing the same value. These values are same. When these values are same, then it is called a steady flow. If you remember like this, so questions are maybe what means like uh, if time varies, if pressure is a constant value, then what about the flow? If pressure varies, if uh, with respect to time, what type of flow it is? Means for one particular topic, it is a small small topic for a small topic. Instead of reading like this, if you remember like this, it's easy to remember. Not only like study and study. If we go for uniform non-uniform flow, let us take the uniform non-uniform, same type of uniform non-uniform flow. Let us say, if you go for uniform and non-uniform flow, non-uniform flow. What uniform and non-uniform flow is saying? Here, dou P by dou S with respect to space X comma Y comma Z is equal to zero. At the same time, dou V by dou S with respect to X comma Y comma Z is equal to zero. Dou rho by dou S with respect to X comma Y comma Z is equal to zero. Same way, dou P by dou S with respect to X comma Y comma Z not equal to 0. Dou V by dou S with respect to X comma Y comma Z is not equal to 0. Dou Rho by dou S with respect to X comma Y comma Z not equal to 0. Means uh, if you want to remember this again, it takes some time. Like uh, just you remember what is dou P by dou S is equal to 0. Okay, just uh, dou P by dou S is 0, dou V by dou S is 0. But in the example, you will not give like the direct equation which of the following is correct. He will not do that. So he will give if pressure difference varies with respect to space, is it a uniform flow or is it a steady flow? Is it a laminar flow? Is it a turbulent flow? What type of flow it is? He will give in a statement wise. He will never give in an equation wise. So that's why if you go for the uniform flow, just remember like this. Let us take, imagine there is a pipeline. In the pipeline, fluid is flowing. Let us say two points in the pipeline. Here one point, here another point, two points are taking point one, point two. At point one, we took pressure velocity density. At point two, we took pressure velocity density. If these two are same values with respect to space, I am talking. S means here space. With respect to space, I am talking. With respect to space, if pressure velocity density is constant values, then we can call this is a uniform flow. Means space paranga and ikara yantaite pressure velocity density fluid jubis sundo, ikara vada ade pressure velocity density kind of fluid jubis jet like Manam even yaptam dane uniform flow and yaptam. So ikara man equation paranga kapunda a concept ni dan log really artan just point like there. Manam e particular questions are easy to answer chayo. At last, we have an equation for the equation. We have an example of the right and 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 right
ఈ ఎగ్జామ్ ని క్లియర్ చేయొచ్చు సో దీనికి ఎక్కువ మెటీరియల్స్ ఎక్కువ వాటికి చదవాల్సిన అవసరం అయితే ఏం లేదు మీరు విన్న క్లాసులే కోచింగ్ లో తీసుకున్న క్లాసులే క్లియర్ గా అర్థం చేసుకుని వాటిని ఒకటికి రెండు సార్లు రివైజ్ చేసి మీరు ఎగ్జామ్ కనుక వెళ్ళినట్లయితే మీరు ఖచ్చితంగా ఈ ఎగ్జామ్ ని క్లియర్ చేయొచ్చు సో కమింగ్ టు దవర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ మా ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ వచ్చేప్పటికి ఇది సాయి మీద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ దిల్షు నగర్ సో ఇక్కడ మీకు ఏడబ్ల్యూస్ కి పిఎస్యూస్ కి అలాగే గేట్ కి అన్నిటికి కోచింగ్ ఇవ్వబడుతుంది బట్ రీసెంట్ గా ఏడబ్ల్యూ నోటిఫికేషన్ విడుదలైన సందర్భంగా మేము ఈ వీడియో చేయడం జరుగుతుంది ఇక్కడ రేపు ఆరో తారీఖు సోమవారం ఐదో తారీఖు సోమవారం సారీ ఐదో తారీఖు సోమవారం మనకి ఈ ఏడబ్ల్యూ కి డెమో ఉంటుంది సో వీ కెన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ కెన్ కమ్ అటెండ్ ద డెమో అండ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద టాపిక్ and uh, clear uh, the uh, clearly understand the concepts and finally you have to crack the uh, exam right that is our motto thank you